works on all versions of T uh, Mac based products, inbox, toolbox, D24, 001, TDM, uh, mix, and HD. 002 support will be coming down the road. It's not going to happen right up front. The big thing for support with OS 6, or Pro Tools 6, is it's OS 10 compatible. And from here on out, uh, Pro Tools will only be OS 10 compatible. Now, another thing we've, we've done is uh, quit. And uh, a the, actually, a really beautiful thing about Pro Tools 6.0, because it's based on OS 10, just because it quits, it's got protected memory with the uh, OS, and uh, we can just relaunch Pro Tools, and uh, we're exactly right where we need to be again. So we're gonna another big thing you're gonna notice is you see the the uh, all the new use of color. We've got background color on the tracks. Uh, we switch over to the mixer window. Mixer window using color down here for track type. So blue is uh, for auxes. Black is for um, audio tracks, brown for master, green for MIDI tracks. Uh, so the look has changed, been streamlined, but everything's still in the exact same place it was, so it's not going to be something that's not familiar to a lot of people. We've also added a new feature called DigiBase and DigiBase Pro. So we have workspace browsers that we can bring up and actually within Pro Tools view and browse all of the mounted and offline volumes for sessions, audio files, whatever have you. You can right from here drag it onto the edit page if you have some audio files. Any conversion that needs to happen will happen in the background and you can monitor that conversion in the background via our new task manager so you can actually see what's going on at any given time. Allowing you a Pro Tools user to continue working while Pro Tools does a lot of housekeeping behind the scenes. We also have a bunch of new MIDI features. Some of the bigger ones being we have uh, no more OMS, so we're using uh, Core MIDI, which is the uh, OS X uh, MIDI protocol right within the uh, operating system. We have MIDI time stamping, so we have uh, sample accurate timing with software-based sense and sub, uh, sub millisecond accurate timing with MIDI time stamping supported uh, IOs such as uh, DigiDesign MIDI IO. We have now Groove Quantize, which allows us to apply Groove templates, or, di or what we're calling Digi Grooves, to MIDI data. And not only does it affect the timing, but it also affects the velocity as well. And with our TDM system, we don't actually have it on this LE system, but we also have Beat Detective 2, which we have better timing integration, and we also have the ability to do beat e or Groove Extraction for these Groove templates. So we can take audio in our session, take the feel of it, and apply it to other audio or MIDI, all right within the TDM environment. That's for both mix and HD. Uh, some LE features we want to talk about real quick. Uh, we've, in we've, uh, oops, we've included the time compression expansion trim tool now in LE. A lot of people have been asking for that. We have the inclusion of the uh, command focus mode. So we have one key uh, focus command keys. Also, that would allow a LE user to use the Digi keyboard, so that's a great add-on now for, for anybody using Pro Tools. We uh, also have the ability for inactive tracks, so when you're taking sessions back and forth between LE and TDM, you don't have to worry about after that 30 second track everything disappearing, they'll just appear inactive and then you can turn them on and off right within the session, so uh, really great thing there with that. So. I mean, we didn't do a whole, whole lot of new features, but we got a lot of really cool stuff into the software that we needed to take it to the next level, along with it being OS X compatible.